you can put no jurisdiction. Are you claiming to be a freeman of the land? So you don't abide by the law? Yeah. You're claiming sovereignty? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we head to Selby, North Yorkshire in the UK for a sovereign citizen traffic stop that featured recently on UK TV series Traffic Cops. Uh, the police pull up behind him and notice he's driving an unregistered and untaxed vehicle. He's obviously new to all this sovereign citizen stuff because he calls his guru on the phone to coach him through the script. So let's see how he does. Five, five, seven, number vehicle, check it back to me please. Traffic cops like Sergeant Julian Pearson are always looking for motorists who shouldn't be using the roads. Currently got no keeper details. Thank you, we just checked the tax database if there's no keeper. 12 miles south of York, Julian contacts control. It is showing as untaxed at the minute, 30th of September last year. Oh, lovely. Righty ho. Come back to you in a minute. So it's not been taxed since September of last year. Yeah, so I'll we'll have a chat with this chap. Thank you, thank you. Now then, you're all right. Constable, can I help you? Yes, do you want to just turn it off a sec? Is it yours? The car? Yes. Well, it's not a car. Uh, uh, it is. The what? The carriage of conveyance is mine, yes. The, the Coach of conveyance? Well, it looks like a Vauxhall Mariva to me, and those need to be taxed if you want to take them out onto a public road. The, the conveyance is yours? Yes. Right, okay. Have you got your driving licence to hand? I don't, no. You don't? No. And what's your name? Do you need my name? Yes, because you're driving on the road, and it's currently shown as untaxed in September of last year. So I require you to provide your driving licence to me, please, and proof that you've taxed the vehicle since September. What are you looking up? Well, he should be using his phone to look up section 164 of the Road Traffic Act because that law gives a constable and you know he's a constable because you addressed him as such when he approached the vehicle. The power to require production of your driver's license. But I've already seen this video so I know it's not that. It's something better. It's his Freeman Guru who will be of no help whatsoever but it does make the stop more interesting when you see how he needs to be coached through the script. Please. Have you got somebody that's near me at Battersby Rana? Please, I've got a non compliant driver. You just passed me your driving licence. Right. Who are you on the phone to? I'm trying to have a conversation with him whilst he's having a conversation with somebody else, telling them what I'm doing. And it was almost as if he was being given lines to feed to me. Are you claiming to be a freeman of the land? So you don't abide by the law? You're claiming sovereignty? Yes. Okay. Sorry, but you can claim to be from one of the moons of Jupiter. You're still going to be subject to the law. Magic words you heard on a dodgy Freeman website will not change that. But this is not this traffic cop's first rodeo when dealing with Freeman or soft sits. I've met people like this before. As a Freeman, he's going to say to me, I don't recognise the law. I don't recognise anything to do with the law. I'm a Freeman. I can move freely around. I don't have to abide by any rules or regulations, and that's my right. I'm the executive of the other state. I'm a beneficiary. Right, OK. You're a beneficiary of the executive of the state. That's got nothing to do with the Road Traffic Act. It's registered with Cressida Dick. It's Cre registered with everyone. It's made registered to Cressida Dick. It's registered with everyone. OK, so, but she is the ex-chief constable, isn't well, she, of the Met? Well, that's that she resigned. Well, she's not you, is she? No. Right, OK. It's with the Lord Chief Justice, the Queen. Prime Minister, I'm no longer a straw man, I'm no longer dead. You're no longer the straw man and you're no longer dead? Yeah. Right, OK. So you basically sent a bunch of nonsense paperwork to the government and because they didn't reply to your insane ramblings, you now believe the law doesn't apply to you. Well, I guess North Yorkshire Police didn't get that memo saying don't pull over the guy driving the ex-police chief's crappy Vauxhall Mariva because, well, he's sovereign and above the law. Yeah, that's not how that works. Clearly, he didn't want to talk to me. 
and didn't think I had any business talking to him. You didn't need to get back into your own camp. If you don't open the door, okay, then I may need to use force, which means breaking the window, which means pulling you out of the car. I don't agree. Well, you don't get a choice. I do not agree with anything other than you letting me go. There's only one thing going to happen. That chap is coming out of that car, and that car is coming with me. Yeah, and that car will be crushed or auctioned off if he doesn't get it taxed within the 7 to 14 day time limit. Just see if that door's open, Mike, will you? Are you a public servant? Correct. Right. Yes, he is. I'm travelling to the I'm not interested in you being Cressida Dick, the Pope, the Queen, Boris Johnson. I'm not bothered about any of that. L listen, listen, right, because we've listened to you. I've never met you before. I don't know who you are. So I can't have the risk of you attempting to drive off, which is the reason why I'm stuck with this in my hand in case you do something stupid. Yeah, well, sovereign citizens and stupidity do go hand in hand, so yeah, I don't blame you for not trusting him. Can you just pass me your driving licence, please? There wasn't an ev ever an opportunity where I was going to wave at him and say, right, off you pop and get back in my car and drive off and leave him. 15 minutes have passed. What's that? And the standoff continues. So have a quick look in the car. But he's now handed over some paperwork. There's lots of letters written to Home Office, to Downing Street, and the contents of those letters were very sort of rambling, but typical of what you would see from somebody that was claiming to be a Freeman. Oh, God, it's all and you know what? I bet the cost of all that mumbo jumbo far exceeds the £165 it costs to tax the vehicle for a year. Plus, he will now have towing, storage fees, and fines incurred from just this one stop. So, was listening to stupid people on the internet really worth it? I guess only time will tell. Tepo, um, he's leaving us no choice, but I'm going to end up having to put a window through to pull him out. <laughs> We're tying up a lot of resources, we need to cut to the chase and we need to get on with it. Before he um, puts the window back up, yeah. and something in the window to stop him being able to close it so it could potentially then force the window down. The end of it will go in there. There you go. Yeah, that's got it. There you go. Perfect. That's not a bad tactic, actually, and shows that winding your window down only two inches can give the police a way into your vehicle without breaking the glass. It's less entertaining, but it gets the job done, I guess. Come on, jump out. Yeah, yeah. No, you can jump out. Half out. Half, half, seven. We've managed to um, get into the car without breaking any glass. We've extracted the mail. Are you willing to go see details? What details? Name. No. As the man won't reveal his identity, Julian searches the car for confirmation. He's coming back on with a full license. The only other thing to add is that on the 20th of the 1st, send a letter to South Yorkshire's Chief Constable stating that they don't agree with or comply with the law, quoting Article 61 of the Magna Carta. Of course he did, because citing a 900 plus year old document that doesn't say what he thinks it says is always going to be a winner. That's why lawyers use it every day in court to get people out of traffic offences. Oh wait, no they don't, because the original 1215 version of the Magna Carta had 63 clauses, only four of these clauses are still relevant today. According to the Parliament website, Clause 61 is not among these, and it was omitted from all subsequent versions of the Magna Carta and was never incorporated into English law. There you go. What about right. so-called taxing it? You need to tax it. Well, obviously. The vehicle will be seized on behalf of the government, which is the DVLA, as a government. To it it back on my journey, no. No. And then. As you're saying, it needs to taxi, taxi tomorrow. No. 
the vehicle will stay with us okay. until you tax it. Right. But if you claim to be a freeman of the land, then you won't tax it, will you? Then after seven days, mm. if you fail to do that, yes. then the vehicle will be disposed of. Right. Okay. That's what's that's what happens. Okay. So by the time you get round to writing to the courts, writing to whoever you want to write to, we will have disposed of your car. That's fair enough. All right. I'm not accepting that. That's fine. You don't have to accept it, but that's what I'm telling you. Mm. Wait, so you're fine with that, but don't accept it at the same time? You're kind of giving mixed messages here. Maybe you should get your guru back on the phone so he can make your mind up for you. Yeah, I think that mode of conveyance is definitely going into the crusher. Off yourself in there. Yeah. Put the seatbelt on. Just try and get a picture of him, Mike. Okay, this form here is from the DVLA and it tells you what powers we're using to take it, how you get the vehicle back, Yes. Okay, and what fees you have to pay to do that. Right. Okay. And there is a fee as well. There is a fee. Okay. The DVLA will, will authorise us to dispose of your vehicle. Vehicle. Okay. Yeah, because calling it your mode of conveyance stopped it from being towed. Yeah, okay. We're not here to judge people. However, he accepted a lift to the services. Right, done. Job done. Now, I would have expected if it was a, a true freeman, he wouldn't have got into a police car. I, I, I think he was sticking his toe into something he didn't fully understand. I agree, and that's a perfect analogy. But you could say the same about sovereign citizens who have been doing this for a long time as well. Perfect example is Adam Starr in the US. He stuck his toe in years ago and left it in there. And he still doesn't understand it. Also, a true freeman will take advantage of any situation that benefits them. So it doesn't surprise me that he accepted that lift. Though he should have gone to jail for refusing to ID. Very often, people that use vehicles unlawfully will not pay their own tax. It is quite a big problem, nationally. And the best thing to reduce crime is to deny them use of a vehicle. And the man claiming to be a freeman of the land was fined £80 for no road tax. And yet another guru strikes again. They love the coaching part, but do they accept responsibility for the results? I'm guessing not. Anyway, that Mariva was at least 13 years old, so it was worth about as much as it would cost to get it back. So this was a costly endeavour and embarrassing because this all played out on national TV. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave me a like, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you also to my channel members and patrons for your continued support. It really does mean a lot. Right, take care all and I will catch you in the next video.